हेलो फ्रेंड्स वी ऑल नो हाउ इम्पॉर्टेंट इंग्लिश इज इन आवर डेली लाइफ वी स्टडी ऑल द सब्जेक्ट्स एक्सेप्ट फ्यू ओनली इन इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज वेदर इट इज साइंस एस एस टी मैथ्स ई वी एस ऑल द सब्जेक्ट्स आर बींग स्टडीड इन इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज ओनली नाउ इफ यू नो हाउ टू राइट द सेंटेंसेज इन इंग्लिश यू कैन ईजिली एक्सेल इन ऑल योर सब्जेक्ट्स as well as in your life okay fine so with this motive i am going to start up a new series of videos explaining english grammar and the concepts and also english speaking so if you like the idea or the concept please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get my latest video notification so without wasting a time let's start up our video first thing that we are going to take up in this is the sentence this is going to be our first topic in this video series so as you know we have the letters alphabets a to z a b c and up to x y z so there are 26 alphabets or letters in our english language out of that five are vowels and rest are consonants so we have vowels like a e i o and u these are the five vowels and rest 21 are consonants fine so if you know that we already know this thing letters like a to z these are being combined or joined these are being combined or joined to make the words for example cat school fine so he so we, what we are doing in these we are combining the different letters now if you combine or join different words you will get the sentences like he is a boy fine so he is a boy is the sentences so what are the sentences sentences are the group of words arranged in a meaningful way fine so sentences are in this we are taking up a group of words which are arranged in a meaningful way if i write the same sentence like this is he boy a so is it a sentence is it if i am writing this as is he boy a is it a sentence no it is not a sentence because in sentences the different words are arranged in a meaningful way not in any way so there should be a particular sequence of writing the different words inside a sentence so after studying what is a sentence we have four kind of sentences first one is declarative sentences interrogative sentences imperative sentences and exclamatory sentences now let's take up one by one what exactly these sentences are first one is declarative sentences declarative as the name indicate declare so that means declare declare matlab kuch batana kuch ghoshna karna कुछ फैक्ट्स बताना कुछ प्लान बताना सो दे डिक्लेयर सम फैक्ट प्लान और एन आर्ग्यूमेंट फॉर एग्जाम्पल रवि इज प्लेइंग इन द गार्डन अब रवि गार्डन में खेल रहा है दिस इज द थिंग दैट वी आर टेलिंग टू अदर्स देयर होम इज बिल्ड ऑन द हिल उनका जो घर है वो एक हिल के ऊपर बना हुआ है fine so in these both these sentences what we are doing we are telling some fact or plan about 
somebody to others kisi ke bare mein kuch hum bata rahe hain that is your declarative sentences the second thing that we are going to take up is imperative sentences what are imperative they express some command hum kisi ko kuch command dete hain jao ye kaam karke aao ya kisi se koi request karte hain ya kisi ko advice dete hain us case mein hamare paas sentence jo hota hai that is imperative sentence let's take up the example like shut the door door ko band kar do that is command hum kisi ko bol rahe hain jao door ko band karke aao so this is command do not waste food this is a advice khana khane ko waste mat karo please pass the salt this is a request uh, salt tum unke us dusre ke paas rakha so we are telling him or her to pass the salt towards us so fine so this is the advice so declaration mein hum kisi bhi ke bare mein koi information dete hain plan fact ke bare mein batate hain imperative mein hum ya to koi command dete hain ya advice ya request fine now third one is interrogative sentence interrogative sentence that means we are interrogative now if you ask some questions from others then it is interrogative sentences like how are you will you come tomorrow and these are always going to be end with this question mark so interrogative sentences which are in which we are asking the questions and next one is exclamatory sentences exclamatory sentences you already know you have learned this thing in your previous classes in which we are expressing a strong feeling wow what a match oh i have lost the match what a fantastic film what a nice car fine so in this we are going to use this exclamatory sign like in interrogative we were using question mark and here in this we are going to use the exclamatory sign and in the declarative and imperative we are just using the full stop fine so these are the punctuation marks that we are going to use in all these different sentences fine now let's take up a practice exercise write whether the sentences are declarative d interrogative i imperative i am and exclamatory e fine so first is how bright the lights are so this is sign of exclamation so it is exclamatory sentences turn left at the crossing in this we are going a command so it is imperative what a noisy place is this exclamatory exclamatory sign we are expressing the feeling i always set the alarm for 5:30 am so this is declaration you are telling something kisi ko kuch information de rahe ho aap may i have some lemonade so what is this yes this is a question mark so may i have a some lemonade so this is interrogative please listen to me you are requesting in this so what we are in which kind of sentences we were requesting yes it was imperative fine so exclamatory sign here in this interrogative in sign of interrogation and if it is a declaration or telling of some fact or plan it is declarative और कोई रिक्वेस्ट है या कोई एडवाइस है या कोई कमांड है उस केस में इम्पेरेटिव फाइन आई होप यू इंजॉयड द वीडियो थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग